Hello guys and welcome back to FTP Infinity Lite. As I said before, uh, that was quite some time ago, um, you know, I have been busy lately. But we have some stuff to do today, don't you worry, we have lots of stuff to do. Uh, as you can see down here on my hotbar, I have no sword. So I need a sword, I was, oh right. Sirix, right, I'm in the middle of various projects and I'm doing like these minor things off cam, you know. So that's already smeltery. I think we can just raise it one bar. Like this. Yes, great. Because we need some cobalt and we need some manual in. One block, seven ingots, that's, that's 16. I wonder if that's enough. I don't think so. We should do more. Great. So what we, I need a sword, I will do a cleaver because it's more fun than the normal broadsword that I've always done before. So let's go with some bigger stuff now. I've already prepared some things. I mean, this costs you don't need to see them over and over again. You know how they are made. And we have manual in already. So let's get started with that part. I think I planned this out. And the good thing with these days is that if you're doing it wrong, you don't need to... Uh, let's see. Yes. That's for the... You can always redo it. And just change exchange parts, but I don't know if there are two rods like this. How do you pick which one to replace? If you know, please tell me because I do not know. And I want one of these to be in another rack. Large, no, 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 two rod. One is for hellish, the hellish one will deal extra power to non-nether mobs, so that's quite fine. Um, tool rod, also manual in. Alright, there's only three here. For some re reason I thought it was eight. So this means we have 13 left. Alright, that's, that's just great, we'll need some uh, sharpening kits. And then the sword cast. This is it. Yes, that's everything we need. So let's do the sharpening kit while we're at it. Okay. Otherwise, not much has happened here since last video. We need, well, I need to build some higher walls. We need some roof and the was perhaps a glass roof or something to let the sunshine in and uh, we need and I have not much material right now so I'll build everything in cobblestone probably or if I smelt it and then do everything in in smooth stone or I, I don't know we'll see but I need to get some cobblestone to start with sharpening kit like that three as we can make two of them at least so now we do the manual and large plate head and the sword. This will give us, if I have, do I have the book here somewhere? Materials and you. So everything is manual in except for the tool rod. And one more. So let's see, here it is. Uh, wood, stone, cactus, obsidian. Where is it? Here's the first one. Netherrack. Hellish. Deal bonus damage to non nether mobs. That's quite fun. So that's one part. And then the next part. I was thinking of doing cobalt to get the uh, lightweight trait. More speed when attacking. So my next attack will be faster. I don't know. 
but I will go over this one instead. The Cold Blood deals increased damage to targets at full health, so it gives me a flying start. And the head is of manual as well, it gives deals more damage. So let's see, like this and this and this gives 18 damage. That's almost a one shot on quite a lot of mobs. Versus non nether plus two. So now we have a sweet sword. And let's see if we can just empty everything. Okay, first task is done. The texture isn't really that good on this. It turns out black. On the metal it was great. Okay, away with these. And the tool rod pattern, why do I have that? Great. We'll do some more just to have in, in a, <laughs> to have some spare. All right, so the next part we're gonna do is, let's see. Yeah, we need the cobblestone and this will be fun because we need, now we need to use our cleaver I need an ender pearl and I have none. I've prepared this small setup to be a cobble generator, transfer node and a transfer pipe. And if we go to the system and let's check the recipe. Uh, what did I call? Transfer node. It's not very hard to build. Uh, not that one. No, no, no. no. Here, transfer node. Redstone, stone chest and the transfer pipe. And transfer pipe is stone slabs and glass. So nothing strange and I have some extra here. But to make it, we need a mining upgrade. And let's take a look at that. Mining. This one, upgrade mining. This one seems to be easy. Golden pickaxe and an upgrade base. And the upgrade base is made from a weighted pressure plate. However, we need to do it in the resonator and the resonator has one small little detail, a redstone crystal. And you know, I actually found these. I totally forgot about that. Then we can do this right now. The thing is that to make these, if you want to make them yourself, then you need an ender shard, which is well, sometimes it's easy to get, but I haven't get, gotten one so far. But I found these before, so let's get started with that. Resonator. However, this one won't work. We'll place this in the next room, I think. Over here. So here, grid is overloaded. Click for recipes. We need to have some grid power. And that grid power is preferably, in the beginning you do this manually. And then you can make solar panels and lunar panels, uh, fire mills. But these are the ones that you use. Mill, water mill, windmill, various stuff. Uh, this is a fire mill and lava mill. Then we need the redstone crystal uh, and some other stuff. Stone burnt is made in the resonator. So... Everything rolls around resonator and mill in the beginning. Perfect, we have the mill. So let's see if this works. In my test world, I needed to use two of them for some reason. So. Let's see if we can manage. I should actually get some cable over to the other side of the base to have another term crafting grid. Well, I'll do that later. Now we want the pressure plate. And we could actually make a golden pickaxe directly. Perfect. So let's see if we can do this. It will be very interesting. So power zero 08, I'm not, 
I'm not fully sure how the, everything works. But right now we're not generating any power. So for some reason this isn't working. <laughs> I just uh, got stuck and uh, my power grid is is uh, constantly upgrading or updating. Take a look at my grid power. So it's it's constantly using 400 grid power and it's increasing well now and then. Even if I do like this it will still say that the grid is overloaded of course because it's using 400 and it was much higher before and then I deleted some data file. It works just fine in the test world so I probably just sheet in the item um, because this seems to be a bug and if I can't solve it I'll just sheet around it. Now, now we have 410 grid power usage and I haven't really done anything. Weird. Let me see how I'll do. Alright, so now it seems to be working slightly better. Oh, I updated the mod and... Oh, finally. Updated the mod. Uh, actually the pack, because today I noticed there was a new update, a new version of the pack. And I had to delete a file, the xu xu2 save data dot dat. Um, I had to remove that to reset this, and now it seems to behave because it says zero. So I didn't have to cheat. I didn't have the. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't cheat anyway, so it doesn't matter. But now we can do the upgrade mining. And let's see, this will probably affect the grid. Not? No? Alright. Grid power zero. With this upgrade. Oh, wrong. Uh, grid power 10, yes. So this will also make things worse for my grid power. Uh, I need to constantly rotate this to get the grid power to run the uh, transfer node. See, we're getting cobblestone here and my guess is that it will stop soon. I'm not sh too sure, I haven't really, really tried this. But this is actually quite new for me, but it seems to be working. Power drain 10. Not, I'm not creating any power right now, so it should stop, I think. But, oh well. But in any way, we can continue working on the base. And this I will do off cam. Because I don't have too much cobblestone yet, I will do this so we can get some... Oops. So we can get some more area, some more surface in the base for future use. Is this? Yep, like that. But we'll come back to extra utilities later. We'll do more of the of the uh, grid power. We'll produce grid power with other means as well. So hopefully we'll come back to that and hopefully it will work better as well. In any way, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.